Hello everyone and welcome to uh, PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a similar but enlarged polygon. So this is what I mean. So if you have a polygon, so this what, what we are going to be doing in this video, it works for either regular or irregular polygon. So if you have a polygon, it's irrespective of the number of sides, and you want to draw a similar polygon, exactly a similar polygon, but with that is enlarged. Now where this thing comes to place, if you are familiar with some of this um, software like the likes of Corel Draw or uh, Photoshop, you know when you have some shapes, let me use maybe a square rectangle, once you pick just one head of it, one corner of it, and then you use your mouse to drag it out, you see it's big, every part of it becomes bigger, then you are going to be having something like this, you know, or oh, this is not a box. So it out from like once you drag one end, it becomes bigger. So how do you replicate this when you are doing technical drawing and you are asked to enlarge either uh, any polygon? So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So before we get into it, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Also click on the icon beside subscribe button so that you get notified when I release any video. So to do this, in order to make sure that you have a full understanding, you can see it's just a plain sheet. I have not drawn the polygon before now. So what I want to do now is to draw uh, the polygon. So in doing this, let me just pick one of the side of the polygon to be 5 cm. So I'm just using an irregular polygon, but this side is 5 cm. So let's just uh, give it to the other sides, you know, with some random, random lengths. Okay, so let's call this A, B, C, D, E, and F. So this is six sides, this is hexagon, irregular hexagon. Now if you are asked, don't forget this place is five centimeter. So if you are asked to draw a similar polygon like this, but A, B should be, instead of five, now it should be seven. So how do you go about it? What you just do is that you pick line A, B, and then you extend it. That means you are going to be adding additional two centimeter to make it... 7 so i've just extend line a b to 7 with the extension i've given to line a b it should reflect on other sides on other sides so to do that from point a you are going to draw a line that will pass through all the points that's tr pass through point c so draw a line that will pass through point c Draw another line that will pass through points D. We we'll draw another line that will pass through pass through point E. And then this line we are going to extend it. So having done that, the next thing we have to do is at this point. Yeah, where we've extended this line to 7 cm, we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line BC so that the line will come and touch this line that passed through point C. This is what I'm saying. So I'll draw a line that is parallel to line BC to come and touch this line. So make sure your line is parallel. So that is for that side. So from this point again, we are going to draw a line that is parallel to line CD. So the line will come and touch this line, this particular line that we, from A that touch point D. So we'll apply the same thing here, draw a line that is parallel to line DE. So we'll draw another line that is parallel to line EF from this point. So come and touch this line. Ok, 
Okay, so from here it's touching this line, I'll just join it back to point A. So now let's call this point one. That's for the bigger one, two, three, four, five, six. So with that now, that means we have this polygon A, B, C, A, B. So let me write it down here. Polygon A, B, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have it as uh, the similar one is that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the only thing is that now this one, two, three, four, five, six is now enlarged, the enlarged form of this polygon A, B, C, D, and F. So that's how you go about to enlarge any polygon. So it's the same process, the same step, irrespective of the number of sides. So this is how you go ahead to enlarge uh, any polygon or to draw a similar a polygon that is similar to another polygon but with the sides enlarged or looking enlarged. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you what if the polygon A, B, C, D, you are asked to reduce it. Now in this video, we enlarged it. But what if you are asked to reduce it? How do you go about it? So in the next part of this video, I'm going to put you through how to do that. And towards the end of this video, that video will be popping up somewhere here. So do make sure you watch this video to the end. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. If you have any question or any comments for me or any video requests, do leave them in the comment section below. You can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more helpful video on technical drawing and engineering drawing, especially if you are a beginner, you'll find a lot of video that will be of help to you. Also visit our website paacademy.co, paacademy.co. So with that, I'll see you all in the next part of this video, which is going to be appearing somewhere here. Thank you.